พลงวันนี้นะคะเราจะต่อสายตรงไปพูดคุยกับคุณเดวิดตุลค่ะนักข่าวจากนครย่างกุ้งประเทศเมียนมาค่ะ So what is the story you have for us today? Well, I I've come across a rather interesting uh, person, especially in, in Myanmar. He, uh, he is a well-known uh, person in his circles. He is a collector, so he he collects. He's known as the Nintendo collector. Nintendo being the the, the, the everyone knows Nintendo, right? The Japanese right. gaming uh, company. So he collects uh, Nintendo stuff. Uh, vintage stuff and the recent uh, generation games and consoles and all that, and yeah, surprisingly, he is also a uh, politician. He works for NGOs. Did he say why it has to be specifically about Nintendo? Uh, himself and I, we grew up, and we mainly grew up with. Uh, I would say it was an era of Game Boys, so which is Nintendo, right? So before PlayStation. And other games came along. We uh, had to. We only had Nintendo Entertainment Systems. Uh, it was the first ever console and first ever kind of games that he played. So he was, yeah, he is actually quite infatuated with Nintendo. And I understand that when you had interview with him, he was sitting there with his wife as well. And then you were asking about how much it's all cost or how much did he spend, and he rather not say. Yeah, uh, so it's a rather funny story. Uh, well, in, in the interview, it was off the record, but yeah, it's okay for me to say. I asked him just for a laugh. I asked uh, how much all of the collection is and how much I was spending uh, monthly still, especially with the uh, with the current economic climate and the he had two kids and wife. So he chose he chose to not see how much he has collected so far and. How much he is currently still spending, but from my from my just a rough count of my my own knowledge, it's a fairly substantial amount. I would say yes. So did he tell you uh, which one is his favorite or which piece is his starting piece? Uh, starting piece. He did not say about the starting piece, but he did mention to me that uh, several things were uh, because I asked him which uh, of the collection. Of his uh, hundreds and hundreds of collections, like which were his favorite, and he he actually showed me uh, one of his uh, the very first game console and game that he ever played. It was a small little thing, so it's a handheld device. And it's from Nintendo. It's Mario Brothers. So they're very iconic names. A lot of it. Uh, two of it was, uh, let's see, it's like gaming peripheral, meaning back then when we were gaming. Uh, Before all the new PC and all the newer consoles came out, we had these like, uh, like plastic plastic guns and stuff. To maybe right. you will remember also to shoot shoot ducks on the TV or something like that, right? So yes. this, this the kind of thing. There was a gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the kind of thing. Yeah, console, right? it's it's really rare now. So he has it in, he has it in a complete package collection. Yeah, uh, he he have oh, a seal wow. so that it doesn't damage. So he kept it right. locked away somewhere. Uh, the last one, I think he is a figurine. It's a huge figurine, uh, one fourth scale. So it's or uh, Simon Belmont from the Castlevania series. Uh, those people that play games will know it. I know it. Yeah. Well, I I know Mario. I know Nintendo, but that's pretty much what I know. But I remember um, Nintendo was the first game console we have in my house too, many many years back. Yeah, I think so. Maybe maybe it was the same for us uh, Southeast Asian nations. I think mainly our well exposure to video games came first from Japan more than anything. So, do you personally collect anything? I. Do have some things that I keep for my collection. I do collect uh, trading trading cards, which is it's called Magic the Gathering. I I'm a big player and a collector of uh, trading card games. Yes. And you still play right now? Uh, a little bit here. The community here is quite small, so uh, but a, a small community will also mean that. The community is much more tight knit, so we do uh, sometimes, often meet up and play, but not as much as we'd like to before. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the story today. Thank you very much for having me on. 
อะไรก็เป็นเรื่องราวที่น่าสนใจนะคะจากคนที่เออคืองานมันก็ซีเรียสเนาะแล้วก็เลยมีเรื่องของสะสมกลายมาเป็นของสะสมที่เกี่ยวกับเกม Nintendo นะคะเฉพาะเจาะจงมากเลยก็อย่างที่เห็นในภาพว่าคอลเลกชันเยอะแยะมากมายนะคะและมีการเก็บเป็นความลับไม่บอกภรรยาด้วยว่าใช้เงินไปเท่าไหร่และนั่นคือทั้งหมดในอาเซียนคอนเนกวันนี้ค่ะ